upper body workout. I'm going to be using my two five pound dumbbells. You can change your weights at any point in time. Usually around three to eight is pretty standard in a beginner workout class. We're gonna go ahead and start with our warm up. And yes, I'm gonna start with our, our weights already in our hands. So take a shoulder roll, lifting up back and down. We're gonna do some arm swings. So I'm gonna show you how that looks. You're gonna take your arms back and you're gonna alternate lifting up and then Actually, let's just keep it one side at a time. We'll get to those alternating ones. So from here, and we're just swinging it and up. This is why it's great to work with lightweight because with heavyweight, you wouldn't be able to do this. So let the arms swing back. Last one. And then switch sides. Start back and just let the arms swing up. And we'll do a few more here. two and here's another swing one ready the lazy swing take your feet out and you're just gonna go side to side lazy twist is what i call but this is actually as you can see as you can feel you feel a little bit in the lower back tighten the abdominals we'll do one more all right go ahead and drop one weight hold on to it we're gonna go right around the head these ones here around the world, as I call them. The weight goes close, right behind the neck, and then down to your stomach. We'll do one more and switch sides. This is also really good for not just the shoulders, the arms, but also the wrist. As you can see, you're kind of lifting, doing that whole figure eight, you're doing this thing with your wrist. That's really, really good, especially when it comes to weight training. Last one. All right, take your one weight, take your feet out. We're gonna go side to side. So reach, bring it back in and reach. So and lengthen the arms all the way. I'm about shoulder height, but you can go low. You don't have to be the same height as me. Okay, so as you can fe feel that weight, gonna get right into the arms and shoulders already. <laughs> all right, one more on each side. This time we're gonna do bigger circles. So all the way up, try to lengthen the arms as much as you can. If you have a slight uh, elbow bend, that's okay too. But notice how it's more challenging to lift the arms all the way up. One more, hold at the bottom, reverse. Let's do four times, ready? Four, three, two, and one. All right. We're gonna repeat, but we're gonna go a little bit faster. Okay, ready? Both weights alternate this time. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop one weight. Take it right around the head. We got four times one direction. Go four, three, two, one. Reverse. Four. Three, two, one. Take a step out, side to side reach. Go. Embrace the belly. <clears throat> Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, grab your other weight. And I forgot to add those twists in. So before we go into the big circles, I do wanna add this in there. Give your arms a little bit of a break here. Just lift and squeeze sometimes your back cracks right <laughs> let's do a few more and then weight down big circles ready let's go around get your whole body into it big 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 one more hold at the bottom and reverse big two three and four all right check it out shoulder rolls we're gonna go and actually do our workout on the floor for right now so with your other weight come down onto your back all right your feet's gonna be close to your butt press your lower back down to the floor you want to hold it there as we do our exercises so we're gonna do some alternating chest presses. So how this is going to look is I'm gonna bring my elbow down to my side. I'm rotating 
bring it back up and then the other side. So palms face into the chest, rise up. So we do this in, before we bring the other arm down, the other arm is gonna be going all the way up. Okay, so kind of a two count. One, two, one, two, one, two. So the elbow is not touching the floor. Make sure you get a feel for where it is. And you wanna keep the tension going through the entire move. As soon as we, if we were to rest our elbow on the floor, then we lose that tension. Down and rise. So this work is not gonna, or just work the chest, but it's also going to be into your biceps, into your forearms, and then everything else, right? So keeping the, your feet firmly on the floor, press your feet down, lower back, right to the floor. All right, we're doing lots of reps here. Let's do four more. For four, three, two and one go ahead and recover weight down shake it out a little bit okay you can release with the hands sometimes people have to kind of shake it out a little bit that's fine because we're going to do another exercise all right so this one here we're going to go right into a chest fly alternating so if you don't remember which th what that looks like it's the one you're going to bring your arm down to the side all the way up and then alternate so I do have a slight be elbow bend. But you don't want to straighten your arm the other the entire way here. So you feel a stretch at the bottom. And then your arms, biceps as you rise up. Two counts down. One, two, up, two, one. One, two, up, two, one. Notice how slow that just got. Say it in your head. One, two, up, two, one. Keep going. So we got a little more chest recruitment here going on. And the front of the shoulders are working. And I already mentioned biceps. Let's do two more, ready? And then come up. This is gonna complete one set. We got one more to go. Down. Bring it up, last one, down, and rise. Weights down, again, shake it out. All right, here we go. So this next one is going to be a compound move, meaning there's gonna be two moves is going to count as an exercise. So we're just gonna repeat those two moves, but watch first. You're gonna complete this, one, each side, two, now watch, 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 side, and side all right come with me let's go bring it down one two one two each side down and down so yes your wrists are going to be doing a little bit start with palms away bring it down remember this one now palms face in chest fly it doesn't have to look exactly like mine Again, if I was right next to you, I could walk you through it. Oops, see right there, I kind of made a mistake. Um, starting with the chest or palms away, and then we have to bring it in. Yes, I made it tricky for you. <laughs> chest, uh, narrow chest press, and then change it to a chest fly. If, if you just get those two moves in, that's good. Here we go. Down at your side, at your side and then we lengthen the arms out and out. Let's do a couple more of this. Let's get this pattern right. Elbows down at your side, side, chest fly, out and out. Last one, elbows down, elbows down, and then chest fly, out and out. All right, weights come down at your side. Go ahead, come sit up. And take your time. This is a great point to shake it out and grab yourself a drink. We're gonna go into some standing exercises. So we did a lot of work on the arms, front of the shoulder, chest. So we're gonna reverse that triceps and back. So first thing we're gonna do is start with the triceps. I'm gonna do a split stance here. So 
all I'm gonna do here is taking a step back, leaning forward, and bracing the abs. So you really wanna tighten the abs and that's gonna help support your lower back. All right, for triceps, it's a tricep kickback. Let me break down the move for you. So you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades in, eyes look ahead, lift your elbow up high, hold it there, and bring the arms straight back, and then down. Squeeze, down. So don't turn it into a bicep curl, because if you are, some people tend to do that. They go all the way back and then they turn it into a bicep curl. We just worked the biceps in the chest. I don't wanna do it again. <laughs> so keeping the elbow in place is the perfect position to target your triceps. Squeeze in down. I lead with the pinky. And that tells me where the, the, the weight needs to go. So squeeze and down. Let's do four more. Go four, three, two, and one. Drop down. Oh, really felt that one, right? Okay, so other side, big step back. You have to reset your position. Okay, so embrace, lengthen the arm, shoulder blade back, squeeze, lift the elbow up, hold, and let's begin. Straight back and down. Good. Holding that into, again, the, the, the brace part is in the abdominals. So if this is an uncomfortable position for your back, let me know and we can modify this move here squeeze and down back yeah now we're feeling it right feel free to change your weight at any point in time if you want that a lighter weight you can go heavy heavier squeeze we got four more of these go for four three two and one drop down right really really feel those okay so the back we're actually going to go into a similar position except we're not doing the split stance so our feet are going to be right under our heels push your hips back that's really important here and then you're going to lean forward bent over row all right so this one we're going to do both at the same time you're going to lead with the elbow squeeze and down okay it is squeeze and down now, because this is a beginner class, the weight is fairly light. If I had a one suggestion to make, this is where you would want to get heavier weights. All right. For those of you who've been with me for a long time, we know that we do this one a lot and we use heavier weight. Your back can, your back can really load a lot more. But again, we're just focusing on the move itself to get you in the right form and down squeeze lift let's go squeeze if you're not feeling in this in the back i want you to take your mind and focus on your back muscles and i want you to squeeze so lead with the elbows and squeeze squeeze your shoulder blades and down go squeeze four three two and one drop and release, recover. Let's do those twists again. All right, so our third one is that compound move where we combine the two moves, okay? So we have the tricep kick back and then we have our lat row. So how this is to make this smoother, we're actually gonna start with the lat row, turn it into the kick back. So, but I'm also gonna do it in the split stance. So take a step back lean forward and brace the belly to support the lower back super super important that you do that and then lengthen the arms squeeze the elbows or i'm sorry squeeze your shoulder blades down lift both arms back elbows back come in and down count it up go one two three four do it again one two three four go one two three four two more three 
Last one. I'm gonna give you a break in the middle. Here it comes. Bring it down and then break because I want you to switch legs, okay? Switch. Gotta make them even, right? Bend forward, squeeze the abdominals, shoulder blades squeeze together. Let's begin again. One, two, three, four. Ah, double time, right? <laughs> Your arms are gonna be burning. <laughs> All right, keep going. Eyes look ahead. Focus on the muscles that are working all along the back of the body. And down, one, two, three. We got a couple more here. One. And last one. And recover all the way. Nice, twist the back. If you need a drink, go ahead and grab your drink. We're gonna work onto these shoulders now. Okay, so we're just gonna stand up nice and tall. Heels under your hips, soften the knees. You're gonna hear me say it again. What are we gonna say? I'll just point to it. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shoulder roll, lift the chest. Okay, we're gonna do some uh, modified side shoulder raise. So I'm gonna keep my elbows right at my side. This is really important here. When you lift your chest, your shoulder blade should automatically go in the right position for where the arm and the elbow need to go. All right, so let's begin. This is probably the most challenging one as far as the elbow placement. And without looking into a mirror, which you guys are, it's nice for you because you can see yourself in the screen. But if I was to work with you, I'd be like pointing your elbow where it needs to go. So really watch out for it. Um, if you have a mirror near you, that would be even better because of the elbows. Now I'm going up to the shoulder height, but you can always go low. But what I don't want to see is the elbow dropping. You see the difference? My elbow is dropping. And that looks like a forearm raise, which is not a bad thing. But I want our shoulders to get stronger. Us ladies, we need strong shoulders. So lift. Let's go four, three, two, and one. We're gonna compound this with a bicep curl. Lengthen the arms, palms face the front, alternate. Let's go, lift it up all the way. This is enough exercise that I encourage women, especially, to increase your weight, okay? Eventually, we are strong. We are used to lifting, right? We lift our kids. We lift groceries, okay? Everyday household chores and things like that. We use our biceps a lot. So let's get them stronger. Inhale and exhale. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one, shake it out, shoulder roll. Let the body relax. It's tough being in that position for a long period of time. Okay, move your hips, move your shoulders. Loosey goosey, right? Because then we focus in. So let's focus in. So compound those two moves. I'll, I'll do the first one. Elbows at your side, lift the chest, embrace. All right, how this is gonna work is you're gonna alternate. Two, wait, 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 come down, lengthen. One, oh, that was a bad, that was a bad one. Let me do that again. <laughs> one, two, lengthen. One, two. It's tough with the elbows, I get it. One, two, lengthen the arms, palms forward. One, again, it doesn't have to exactly look like mine. You can do it how you would like. The only thing I want you to focus is focus on is the form itself. Again, if I was right there next to you, that's what I would look at. It doesn't have to be pretty. Two, lengthen. One, two, again, elbow, side, side, lengthen the arms, down, one. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this again. All right, here we go. Side, side, now lengthen, one, Two, keep going, we're not done. Side, side, lengthen. One, we're gonna do one more, ready? Let's go. One, two, and down. 
one and two. All right, shake it out. Shoulder roll, twist the back. All right, next move here is going to be for the overhead. Overhead compound with triceps. Yep, we're doing triceps again in a different uh, matter of exercise. Elbows, they're gonna come up this time. Palms, face the front. So basic move here, shoulder press. Lifting up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have you sit, I'm gonna do bring your elbows in the front and then we're gonna alternate in this way, okay? So let me turn to the side. Lift up and up. So if you came to me and said, Michelle, I have a shoulder injury. I'm gonna say the safest thing, one of the safest things that you can do to strengthen your shoulders is always keep the elbows in front of the body. Okay? Even when we were doing those side raises, we had the elbows slightly in front of the shoulder. And then we also did a bent elbow for that matter. <laughs> but this right here, if you are able and capable of doing overhead stuff, I'm going to have you doing a move similar to this, where the elbows are way in front of the shoulder. Yep, we're getting tired. Last four, ready? Push it, four, three, two, and one. Now drop one weight, shake it out. So the next, for the tricep exercise, I'm going to do a single arm tricep extension. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Grab your weight, arm is again over the head, back down, squeeze the elbows, and then rise, extension. Down and up. So I'm bringing the weight way behind the neck, extending it above the head and rise down. So heels, let me start from the bottom. Heels under your hips, soften the knees, tuck your tailbone under, belly braced, and then we come, then we do the work in the triceps. Four, lift, three, two, and one, drop and drop. I'm gonna cut you a little, a little um, for this third set. We're only gonna use the one weight, the compound, the two moves. So you can thank me later. <laughs> All right, so take your one weight, elbows in, ready? Squeeze, everyone do it with me, squeeze. When you squeeze like that, lift the chest, okay? Now our back is already engaged. Squeeze, pull those shoulder blades down. So with the weight already in front of the shoulder, you're gonna press it up. Here's our shoulder press into a uh, tricep extension, up and then down. Let's go for one and down, lift two and down, lift all the way, three. Inhale, exhale, four, down. Wow, these are tough. I didn't give you much of recovery. We're already going back right into this one. And down, keep going. Upper body strength in the house. <laughs> We're gonna get to fine shoulders, to fine triceps, right? Up, down. Come on, come on, ladies, go. Last three. Down two. And one. Finish it and recover. Weights down. Let's shake it off. Twist the lower back. We're just going to do a quick cool down here. All right. Go ahead, take a big step back. Heel down. Ready? Thumbs back and down. Open up the chest. We did a lot of work for the biceps and triceps. Step in, step back, heel down. This time, palms face the rear. Come back to center, shoulder stretch. So what you're gonna do, take one arm forward and push forward. Push like as if you wanna touch the screen. Take the opposite hand, bring it across the chest, twist your neck so you look at the elbow. I'm sorry, look at the shoulder.
And then let's do a little bit of wrist here. So take your palm, lift it up, take the opposite hand, press your fingertips down. Sometimes we gotta give our wrist some love here. And this is one of them. So you stretch out the wrist and the forearm. We're gonna do that same thing. Palms down, let's do fingertips back. Okay, check it out. See the other side, shoulders. Again, push forward, opposite hand across, twist the neck. And let's do our wrist. So arms straight. I'm gonna go ahead, take my fingers, press down. Feel free to hold these longer for stretches. I'm going fairly quickly here. Shake it out, keep the arm there, and then fingertips back. All right, shake. Last one, chest. We started with chest, we're gonna end with chest. And shoulder roll. And you ladies are all set, until next time. Bye, thank you for coming.